how can you 10x your productivity skills? The answer is simple, chat GPT. What's up YouTube and welcome to my channel, Ask Jimmy Smith. Today, I'm going to be talking about how chat GPT can 10x your productivity skills. We all know how tough it can be to stay productive, especially when there are so many distractions around us. But with chat GPT, you can get an edge and take your productivity to the next level. Now, while the program is not perfect, it's getting better every day. I actually know one person in my life that has saved eight hours per week using ChatGPT. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. But first, let's talk about what exactly is ChatGPT. If for some reason you haven't heard about it, I have done other videos on my channel with ChatGPT, but if you haven't heard about it, I wanna discuss this first. ChatGPT is an artificial intelligence tool and it uses natural language processing to communicate with its users. And really what this means is that you can ask ChatGPT for help in a conversational way with a wide range of tasks, including task management, scheduling, prioritization, etc. It's basically like having a personal assistant that's available 24 seven to get anywhere from 50 to 80% of your work done for you from a research perspective, or even an idea perspective as well. And I say 50 to 80% because there's always going to be a need for reviewing, for editing, for revising and tailoring the responses from ChatGPT to your perfect situation. And so I'm going to go through four different ways that I believe ChatGPT can help you with your productivity to boost it by 10x. And I'm also going to give you specific examples so you can see kind of what we're dealing with from the standpoint of reviewing, editing, revising and tailoring. The other beautiful part is it is currently free. Yes, they do have a paid version. I have only ever used the free version. If it ever becomes only a paid tool, then it's something that I'll probably end up paying for because I like using it for all these different scenarios. Okay, now let's say that you have a project due in a week and you're not really sure where to start. You can actually ask ChatGPT for advice on how to break down the project into manageable tasks and it will provide you with a step-by-step -step plan. So that's just one way that we can use it. And now that we know what ChatGPT is, let's talk about how to specifically use it to boost your productivity. Now, the first way ChatGPT can help boost your productivity is by helping you manage your tasks and prioritize your tasks properly. One of the most critical aspects of productivity is managing your tasks effectively. And ChatGPT can help you 10X your productivity skills by providing you with advice on task management. You can ask for recommendations on how to organize your to-do list, how to break down complex tasks into smaller steps, and how to prioritize your work. So for instance, let's say that you're feeling overwhelmed with your to-do list. You can actually ask ChatGPT for advice on how to organize your tasks based on their urgency and importance. And ChatGPT might suggest that you start with the most critical tasks first, or it might recommend that you group similar tasks together to streamline your workflow. But before I continue to move on and show you this example, you don't have to tell ChatGPT which ones are most urgent and which ones are not in the majority of cases. You can, and that will help it. But if you just give it a list of tasks, it will prioritize based off of its artificial intelligence of what it believes believes is the most urgent to get done first, and it will give you that list. So here's an example of a list of just example items that I asked ChatGBT to help me prioritize. Let me pull up my screen. Okay, so as you can see in this example, I just gave it a very basic prompt of, I need to record a YouTube video, make TikToks, work with my VA, sign a contract, publish a blog post, and do Amazon sourcing. Can you prioritize my to-do list for me? Now, what I love is that it actually went and started to prioritize it based off of its time sensitive nature and urgency that it believes that would be required for these particular tasks. Now, just so you know, this wasn't my actual to do list. I just put a bunch of random stuff in here. And if you are looking to follow anybody on TikTok, you can look me up at Ask Jimmy Smith. But if you look at this, the first thing it says is to sign the contract. This task is time sensitive and should be done first to avoid any delays or missed deadlines. So I love that that was the first one, because to me, that would be the exact first thing that I would recommend based off of urgency in the majority of cases. Now, publishing a blog post, I've got a blog on my website at askjimmysmith.com, but I really don't publish often, just FYI. So again, this is an example. But once the contract is signed, focus on publishing the blog post. This will help you stay on track with your current content creation schedule. Then it says the YouTube video, do Amazon sourcing, make TikToks, and then working with your VA, my virtual assistant. And they put that last and it says this task is important for delegating tasks and managing your workload, but it can be done at any time during the 
today. Therefore, it should be prioritized last on this particular list. However, if you have urgent tasks that need to be delegated, it should be prioritized accordingly. So I just really love that as you can see here, this is something that ChatGPT can help with. They can prioritize it based off of urgency without you having to tell it. Now, if I had said, hey, this is most urgent, this is second most urgent, and these other four or five things to me seem about the same urgency, I assume it would have put those in the proper order and made its best assumption on those last few items that I didn't give an urgency or sign an urgency to. Now, the second way that ChatGPT can help boost your productivity is by helping you with schedule scheduling tasks. Another essential aspect of productivity is managing your time effectively. So ChatGPT can actually help you with scheduling advice. You can ask for guidance on how to optimize your schedule, balance competing priorities, and how to avoid overbooking yourself. So for example, let's say that you have a lot of meetings scheduled for the day, and you're worried about how you're going to fit everything in. You can actually ask ChatGPT for help with scheduling, and it might suggest that you block off specific times in your calendar for each meeting so you don't feel rushed. But let's take a look at how ChatGPT actually helps me schedule in the tasks from my prior example. So as you can see here, I took those same exact tasks from the first example and I said, help me schedule these into my busy calendar. And I made an example, I said, I'm only available from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. and then from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. for these tasks. Here it says, based on the time constraints that you've mentioned, here's a sample schedule to help you prioritize and complete your tasks. And it says 10 to 11 a.m. sign the contract. Now, to me, that's a very long time for a signature, but if you need to read through the contract and then sign it, 10 to 11 is perfect. But 11 to 12, publish that blog post. 12 to 12.30, it actually gives me a break. It tells me, hey, take a break from this stuff. You need some time off. 12.30 to 1.30, record the YouTube video. And this is where I kind of have some issues with this because I gave it the time constraint of 10 to 1, and yet it pushed me to 1.30. So, you know, there's gonna be, again, some editing that has to happen. I love that it took a prioritized list and made it into a schedule for me. 1.30 to 3, it gave me a break, which, you know, I'm only available after 3. But anyway, 3 to 4, do Amazon sourcing. 4 to 4.30, take a break. And 4 30 to 5 make TikToks. You know, the schedule's not perfect. I just gave you an example. I thought it was really good that it took that same list and made it into a, a schedule for you if you needed any help with that. It also says if you have any additional tasks that need to be completed, you may need to adjust the schedule accordingly. It is important to take breaks and avoid overworking yourself to prevent burnout. Also be sure to set realistic expectations and give yourself enough time to complete each task without feeling rushed or overwhelmed. So I love that ChatGPT is able to do that. You may be able to use that uh, more specifically in your example, or maybe that's not one that will help you. But the third way that ChatGPT can help boost your productivity is by helping you actually with goal setting. Now I've done a video on productivity recently, and I talk about goal setting in that and how I've done that. However, setting goals is a crucial aspect to achieving your objectives and being productive on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's where ChatGPT can actually help you 10X your productivity skills by giving you advice on the goals that you're setting. So you can ask Ask for recommendations on how to set achievable goals, how to track your progress, and how to stay motivated if you need help with any of those things. But as an example, let's say that you're having trouble setting goals that are both challenging and achievable. You can actually ask ChatGPT for help. And it might suggest something that many of you may have heard of that you use the SMART framework, which are specific measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound goals so that you can set goals that are both realistic and challenging. It might also recommend that you break down your long-term goals into smaller milestones to make them more achievable. What I love is if you give it a specific thing that you're looking to do and how you can schedule that in, you can actually ask it to do that for you. So let's take a look at the example that I asked ChatGPT to help me with setting goals for my Amazon arbitrage sourcing for the day based on the prior list and based on the schedule that it had already made for me. So as you can see here, the next thing that I asked it was for the Amazon sourcing from this calendar, right? We had three to four do Amazon sourcing. I said, for the Amazon sourcing, I'd like to find 10 new replenishable products and spend $400. Can you help me set a good goal to make sure I hit that in my schedule? Now it's a little bit vague in my opinion here, but it says here, absolutely to achieve your goal, I recommend breaking down the task into smaller, more 
manageable goals. So I love that. There's one way to say, oh no, I need to spend $400 or I need to find 10 new products. The other way is to say, let's break that down into much smaller goals. Now it's advice isn't perfect from an Amazon perspective, the way that I train it on this channel, but I do love the thought process behind it. And I believe it could take some revising on your part, but it does give you a good general idea of how to approach this whenever you don't know how to hit your goal that you're looking to do, because it's easy to get overwhelmed with goals that we have. So I recommend spending 15 to 20 minutes, the first 15 to 20 minutes doing research to identify potential products to source. It says to use resources like Jungle Scout or Keepa to find products with consistent sales and profitability. I agree on the Keepa part. Jungle Scout doesn't apply for the things that I teach. Second thing is to uh, set a goal to review at least 20 products during each source session, I would probably boost that up to 40 or 50 if you're spending an hour on it. And it says to spend five to seven minutes reviewing each product you want to in arbitrage do that in a minute, but you get the idea you want to set these goals, make them much more achievable and action oriented, like reviewing 20 products, because you can't control how many products you find, you can control how many you review and the time that you spend on it. The third option was to keep a running list of potential products and then aim to add at least three to four of those products to your list during each sourcing session. So if you were to take this and apply that to the hour that you are sourcing, or maybe you need to go back to this schedule and say, well, I'm going to do three to four. And then I'm also, instead of taking a break, I'm going to do more Amazon sourcing so I can hit my goal. But ultimately, these are the, the different steps that I need to take to hit that. And I really love uh, that it can help you with it. Obviously, if you have a much more complex goal than the basics of what I'm trying to show you here, uh, it can also help you with that and get you some good ideas for what you can do uh, moving forward to hit those goals. Now, the fourth way that chat GPT can help boost your productivity is by helping you with decision making. Now, making decisions can be a challenge, especially when you're dealing with complex or high pressure situations. Chat GPT, though, can help you 10x your productivity skills by providing you with advice on decision making. So you can actually ask for recommendations on how to make better decisions, how to evaluate different options and how to minimize decision fatigue. If you have too many decisions to make in a day, utilizing chat GPT can help with that fatigue for sure. Now, for instance, let's say that you're trying to decide whether to take on a new project at work or to start a new business or new side hustle, whatever. You can actually ask ChatGPT for advice and it might suggest that you evaluate the potential benefits and drawbacks of the project, consider the time and the resources required and assess how it fits into your long-term goals. It might also recommend that you seek input from your colleagues or mentors, friends, family, etc., to help you make a more informed decision. Now, uh, that doesn't exist exactly help you if you know, I mean, anybody can ask friends and family and chat GPT might actually recommend that as well. But let's take a look at an example for how do I decide that the blog post I should write about for Amazon selling based on the examples we've already been going through. So I legitimately just asked, how do I decide what blog posts to write about for Amazon sellers? Again, I don't write blog posts. I do YouTube videos, TikToks, social media, that kind of stuff. I do have a blog on my website, but it's not a written blog. It's where I post the YouTube videos a lot of time. But it actually gives some good advice. Deciding what blog posts to write can be a challenge, but there are several ways to approach this task. And so if you're stuck and not knowing how or what you should write on a blog post, I love these different ideas. Look for trending topics and it gives you some examples. Address common pain points, conduct keyword research, analyze your audience, draw on your own experiences. So if I was at a loss for what type of a blog post I should write, I could say, oh, cool. Well, what are some of the trending topics right now? Depending on whenever you're watching this video, that would change, but addressing common pain points. Okay. Well, maybe for Amazon sellers, uh, pain point is how to be productive. And so I can make a YouTube video on being productive as an Amazon seller. Maybe it's how to find products using Keepa, right? These are different things that I can address. And so I really love this different suggestions because it helps speed up that process, at least from a content creator perspective. But even if I was just trying to have it help me with decisions in general, it gives some great suggestions tailored to whatever question that you are asking. Now, as you can see, chat GPT can be a powerful tool for boosting your productivity skills, whether you're looking for help with task management, scheduling, goal setting, decision making, or many, many other use cases. I could have had probably 50 different things on this video for how to 10x your productivity using chat GPT. But ultimately, this tool can provide you with great advice and support. So by leveraging the power of artificial intelligence, you can 10x your productivity and achieve your goals more effectively than ever 
before. So ultimately, why not give it a try? It's free. Highly recommend it. This obviously isn't a sponsored video. It's a free program. I only use the free program, but I do recommend trying it and just playing around with it, seeing if it can help your business, your personal life, whatever it is that you're trying to schedule and get better from a goal and productivity perspective. Now, if you have any suggestions for other ways ChatGPT can boost your productivity, please leave a comment below. I've done other videos on using ChatGPT as an Amazon seller. So make sure to check those out on my channel. Feel free to reach out to me on my website at askjimmysmith.com if you'd like to get a hold of me for any reason or have any questions, or you can leave questions in the comments below. And I always try to get to those as well. Now, as always, I hope this video helped you and blessed you. And I hope that you have a great rest of your day and a blessed rest of your week.